I didn't want to do too much second hand, so I figured, oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, I already took some video for him and it worked out really well. Do you know who he, you're going to go through with repairs, or do you know when he'll be back? He'll be back April 1st, and so the plan is, the way I'm suggesting it to him, is that we just stabilize the house now and get it all dried out, okay. and then when he comes back in a month and a half, he can, he can go through that process himself, pick his contractor and all that jazz. So, there was some rust stain marks. The big one was over here. Uh, so I had just inherited this rifle. This is not loaded. You don't have to worry about I this. Didn't even notice the rifle. Yeah, yeah. So this is just a little 22 inherited from my dad. Okay. And he had made this scope himself, and you can see how it's all rusted. So mm -hmm. that was laying down on the carpet. Okay. So that put some rust marks. But those Serve Pro jumped on it right away. I didn't know this. If you clean the carpet while it's wet with rust, you can, you can get, get it out. Quick. Okay. So it was laying like right about here. I think this is the last little mark of the rust. Okay. It was laying right at the end. Okay. So uh, there was another little rust mark. But the big one is that they didn't get out, unfortunately, was uh, my wife had put some shoes on a rug. And as you can see, it's they tried and tried and tried to get that out and seemed unable. The shoes are what caused it was that. So the tanning or whatever came off and okay. stained the carpet. Okay. I don't know if I'm pushing you in the wrong direction. You want to do your thing for a while, and then no, we'll talk I'm, about. I'm going with okay. You. I, I'm, I'm okay. I didn't want to. Okay. Uh, I, I'm concerned, right, because that they couldn't get that stain out, and that stain is right. It, you know, it's not like it's under something. It's it's would be so visible. You know, that's up to to you and my father-in-law to mother-in-law to work out. I just try to present the facts as I know them. If it if has you will. to be replaced, I just have to take a sample of the carpet, and I don't want to cut up their carpet just. Oh, I that's, see why you asked. Why. Well, I could tell you, I could show you where a good place to take a sample would be. Or do you think I should wait? Uh, there's a corner over here we could take a little sample from. It's right in the very corner. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Hello, Mrs. Gorney. This is for you and for Terry and the boys oh. for breakfast tomorrow. tomorrow. Oh. So, that is so awesome. So, Thank you so much. So That's great. Oh my. Yeah, I don't know if Surf Pro made a, you know, they can't get it out. I guess they would be the people to make a decision or, or just uh, give advice, I suppose, I should say. Did they try to get it out? Oh yeah, they worked, 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 worked at it. And they really worked on these rust stains too. They were determined, but it wasn't budging. I'll, I'll do this. When they get back, I'll take a sample. Okay. Because I hate to take a sample. And yeah, you can see upset, so. uh, that that corner cabinet sits right here okay. so I'm put, guessing they would put that back and right. then the very corner would be behind that okay. we Just can take if, a sample you're right can't that's be a good I'll come back out here and I'll get a sample of that okay I'll do it that way sure. that way they don't come back and like I've ripped up their carpet sure or anything like that. okay. that's I'll a good that idea way. I like okay. that any decision we can postpone really be would be the April. best April 1st is is uh, I'm not sure if they leave Alabama or they arrive here. Do you know when they left? Uh, they leave right after Christmas, okay. so before the new year, basically, in right. that week. And then it's damages downstairs, too? Yeah, yeah, if you want to have a look at that. Yeah.
It, the water got up to about here on this step, so these were all wet. Okay. So I worry. Oh, and there was a lot of like this was it was actually bubbled up here. There was a you know sticking out, and this was all it's all rough where it and it even went over to here. So I'm not quite sure what's going on with that door. It's a metal door, but. Okay. Watch your step. These stairs are, if your feet are at all wet, they're very slippery. Thank you. Yeah. So, this was like right below, this was where it was the worst. It was. You know, there was water just running off these rafters. You can see the... So this pool, or ping pong table was... And it had things stacked on it, and it was just completely drenched. I mean, it was raining on it. Okay. So for whatever reason, the water was traveling along here but I think this might be okay. They, this was, they had a piece of cardboard over this and it was filled with water, but it didn't seem to get through. So we got lucky on this one, I think. Although it's got a little bit of, we'll have to see, I guess. But this was, this is pretty sad. This was some kind of antique of theirs. And, and what's really sad is, I mean, this, the wood swelled I don't know if I can turn that light on. Oh, I can get it. Okay. I tried taking pictures before and it's just so dark, but yeah, that's, yeah. And then uh, all the contents over here got drenched so all their electronics the TV got drenched I'm afraid to even plug the TV in okay. so all these things down here were affected okay. uh, this thing you can see this was so see how this is all blown it apart did. now yeah it was drenched and all these tapes these VCR tapes got drenched Yeah, I don't know how to, you know, I guess we could inventory this, the VCRs, DVRs, uh, computer equipment. I don't know how, yeah, I'll let you guys work that out. We're sending so, them some inventory forms in the mail. Pardon me? We're sending them some inventory okay. forms in the mail. And they can um, log all this? Right, and if they find that any of it is damaged, they can give me a phone call and let me know. I may send out an electronics company just to verify it doesn't work. Okay. If it doesn't work, they can just total it out. Okay. Okay. Oh, we missed the wall over here coming down. This this got bowed out. So all this paneling is all now warped and goofy. And now we can walk around behind and see the other side. Can we, can we slip through? Oh, yeah, sorry. No, no, no. Just you, trying to access good. the drain right under here. Okay. So the water came out to about here on the floor, and of course everything back in here was all, anything that was on the floor got heavily affected. This is already drying a lot, but you can see how it still is wet. Okay. So all this wood and and paneling was heavily affected. Okay. Luckily, they had done a really good job with the shelving and the tubs. Okay. So everything was up. You know, all these shelves had, yeah. So it was, they were pretty good shape. Okay. So. All right. I'm gonna yeah. get some measurements of that panel area. Sure. I'm sorry, Tiffany. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. You're perfect.
these chairs all got wet. They were all over there. Mm -hmm. And they're still, that was pretty good. It's pretty good. But you can see how the wood's been discolored. I see it. Yeah. So, and I'm not sure about the machine, if it got dripped down in water in it, okay. in the treadmill. Okay. So we'll have to wait and see on that, I suppose. Okay. Luckily, this corner seemed like it. It didn't. Didn't get that far. Okay. There's a drain over here on the floor. That most of the water was going down the drain. They had uh, each one of these little pockets had insulation up in it, okay. and the insulation got wet, so they pulled all that out. So at some point, they'll have to replace all that. Yeah, you can see it on this side, the insulation's still up there. So. They only pulled like half of it out. Whatever was wet, Serve Pro removed. My mother-in-law had mentioned about these these curtains, this, you know, to, to take them down and press them and okay. clean them up. Now you can't believe how nasty this was before ServPro came in. And, yeah, so these curtains took a lot of hits. Yeah, there's no water up here at all, thank God. Yeah. You're right, I didn't need what I brought. Yeah, it's not that bad. <laughs> you needed dehues is what you needed. Yeah. Busy time of year, huh? Oh, yeah. Pipe breaks, pipe breaks, pipe breaks. My kids didn't even have school today. It was so cold. Oh, I know. They called off two days in advance. Crazy. Well, we still got a stack of fire water this call. Really? To work through? And they took two more before we left. I was going to say, I wasn't even ready to come back to work. Right. Yeah, I was surprised hearing you on the phone the other night that yeah. you're back to work. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't be, but called me yesterday like I need to schedule we have nine sitting in the roster now I'm like yeah sure I'll go walk in pneumonia for you no problem <laughs> and, these, <laughs> and these people are so desperate too yeah. Consumer's energy bill sent just to verify the heat was maintained. Okay. And then on my business card is my fax, my email, and my mail address. Um, it can just be sent. So I'm going to take the to the kitchen So things like, like this leather coat, I mean, it's still soaking wet. Yeah. It's got a hole in it. How, right. do, how does that? Do you want me to send out a restoration company? or? Oh, it's got a hole in it. It's beyond repair. The water put a hole in yeah, it? Yeah, it was over the. 
that chair was right down here and she had put the coat over the edge of the chair mm -hmm. and the water was blasting down okay. so they can put it on the total loss list those and the, the leather shoes are all goofy now yeah. so all those so that'll just be on the itemized list that's how you like to handle that yeah. they can send me the itemized list they will send me their estimate uh, if the carpet has to be replaced i'll come back out here and get a sample I will need a reconstruction estimate to put everything back together and just the consumer's energy bill and then we go further from there. Okay. Uh, it was that a lot? Uh, so the big thing was uh, you want you want him to get an estimate from like a contractor mm -hmm. and submit that to you. Put back, right. Right. So the the restoration. Of the home sent into our office. Okay. Um, they will send us a copy of the estimate for the water mitigation that they had to do. Surpro. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, these items that are totaled, mm -hmm. we're sending the paperwork in the mail. They can just list on that sheet everything that is a total loss on there. Okay. For the electronics, though, right. um, I may have to send out an electronics company just to verify that everything is totaled. And if it is total, they would list it on that sheet as well. That okay. the electronic items are a total loss as well. Okay. Um, and then the consumer's energy bill just to verify the heat was maintained. And okay. then I go further with the line. Okay. Okay. Did you have any questions for me? Uh, uh, I heard that they w you will also cover our hours worked, so that is also on the items. What you would do is you would write down how many hours you worked in the home. Okay. And you would submit that in to the office as well, and yes, okay. you will be compensated for it. Okay. Awesome. And I have your card if there's any more questions. Yeah. That's all it is. Oh, that's pretty easy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Well, thank I you. I appreciate it. I'll shut this thing off. I can almost guarantee you with that red staining. Like the rust, you see, that's no big issue. Okay. But with that that, that pink, it'll always leave, even if I get it lighter, it's going to leave a haze. All right. It's that tanning from shoes. I mean, it's just by design being a, oh, it's yeah. a stain. <laughs> yeah. So right. the carpet's got to go? Yeah. Are you not, are you ripping it up? To, not today. Okay. Yeah, we could even leave it. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of nice having it. ripping it up? No. Oh, I, okay. I, at first right. we said, we, we after Maria tested it last night, she asked me to take a look at it this morning and see what I thought. With as pink as that is, maybe yeah. I should go ahead and get a sample now. Okay, let's do it in this. Okay, well, you're, you're... No, 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 that's fine. Okay. So we can take it in this back corner. If we can move this fan for just a minute, we can. Put... Yeah, I can move this fan. Yeah, or do awesome. you want to take it from right here in this corner? Well, this is underneath that. that oh, that china so, ledge, so no I one mean, will see it. If the worst that they actually do keep the carpet, yeah, exactly. Sorry, yeah, this is all. Yeah, the pad was pulled last night. Yeah, those are the holes from the nails below. Oh, you're going to take a good piece. Usually a one by one is what we need. Did you need a sample? I was taking a sample. Oh, I don't know. But oh, okay. Because <laughs> usually we pull it for you guys. Oh, this is just so you know what to replace it with. Right. It's similar. Right. Thank you. Mm, thank you, Tiffany. No problem. All right, I'm finished here. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Enjoy your day. Thanks. Carpet's got to go. That's, I guess that's interesting news. Good news, it's I guess. It's because it's a light carpet. A lot of the other ones we could be a lot more aggressive with this, with it being pink. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. All right. Okay, a quick walkthrough after after the insurance agent was here. Uh, and ServPro uh, made an adjustment on their equipment. So, uh, fan still running. Uh, you can look up here and see the pink insulation. So I shoved some in there and blocked that off and put a piece up in there. And that made a huge difference along here in terms of temperature. Cold was just pouring out of there before. So, yeah. Uh, one of their big monster dehumidifiers. So, uh, I think you heard you have to get your uh, electric bill both before and after to prove that the house was being heated and 
all that jazz, so not this not gonna be a big deal. So we got another fan in here blowing in the corner. Another fan blowing still underneath there. Uh, this has all been cleaned up. This is I oiled this up and this is back to all wiped down. This isn't gonna hurt this any. So all good. It's rusty and needs yeah, it makes me sick. Anyway, uh, da, 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 da. so Surpro is taking power and running water and yeah. So let's go downstairs. This equipment's got to stay running 24/7. And it even has timers on it, so they will know if you turn it off. So, you can hear the carpet up above beating on the floor. But, just a few little wet spots left, you see the discoloration. So, but they've got these fans blowing up in here, trying to get it knocked down. Another one of Surpro's monster dehumidifiers plumbed into your drain. So... Yeah, I pretty much got everything laid out, and I guess we'll just leave that here so we can inventory it at some point, or, or you guys can rather. So like that in the TV, you're going to have to decide. I'm not even sure I want to try and plug this thing in myself, but uh, this is still pretty wet up in here. Uh, it's not too bad. Yeah, it's damp. So they'll keep moving the fans around over the next couple days. So, but uh, you know, some of the concern was uh, whether these were okay, and I think they are. If they were bad, well, yeah, I think they're okay. You'd see swelling along the bottoms of this if they were bad, and I don't see that, so I think they're okay. So, and this was the chair that, that got the wettest, so. And it's, it's pretty well dry. It's not bad. Your house is so dry that everything is just drying out very quickly. So, this guy, his feet were rusting on the floor down there. So, I put him up here to let his feet dry. So, here's their tubes. So, they have tied into your drain system for their humidifiers so this area looks pretty dry back here still got this blowing drying this out so yeah this will all get replaced so looks pretty good pretty good shape for the shape we're in okay Yeah, this is some kind of hour meter that they log and make sure that you run the thing continuously. So, I guess people get tired of listening to it at night. So, yeah, it looks way better. This is pretty well drying out. This isn't damp at all. And this is where it was just running, drenching, coming down from above. Yeah, it's still a little damp in spots, so. All in all, way better. So, okay, I think that's about it. Just a real quickie. Uh, we put a lot of overflow things in here. So, uh, all the wines and candlesticks and furniture is all kind of pictures. So, lamps, chair, so... I think things will be pretty good back here while the rest of the house dries out. This is kind of cool. This is a infrared thermometer. I'm sure you probably use these in the uh, for corning for making glass. But this shows you surface temperature, and I thought you might be interested in this. Uh, if we look at this thing, well, first when I went up in here, I mean this was in the 20s up inside there according to this thing surface temperature 
but uh, I noticed down here on your front door see this see this white along here it's ice so the floor is 58 degrees but right up in here is 27 Yeah, that's just frozen. Kind of interesting, huh? I'm not quite sure what to do about it. That rust stain was from the... Uh, that uh, you had an iron there, you know, like an old uh, cast iron that you would heat up and then iron your clothes with. So I've got that somewhere else. Uh, I'll see if I can get that stain up in a little bit. But uh, the door seems pretty good. 60 degrees, that's good. This is all looking pretty good. 60 degrees, that's pretty good for up high on an outside exterior wall. Yeah, so they've got insulation and all that, that's for sure. So, but this is the interesting, what's really interesting, right, is so you've got an overhang outside where the bathroom extends out so let's look at this right so if I go up and you can see the wall down there dividing wall right so this is the supporting wall so the pipe broke right about here under here and let's look at this floor so 50, 50 degrees on the floor, but watch this as I move forward. I'm going to plunge. Thirty-five degrees on the floor. This is because we're on the overhang part of the house that's sticking out. So there's. There's no insulation between this floor and the outside elements. So there's, you know, the, the plywood and then the tile covering. And that's, that's it. So, you know, it's outside today. It's 5 degrees Fahrenheit. And on the top of the floor is 35 degrees. So I think this is what Terry meant by the bathroom's always cold, right? So if you stand at this sink... You're standing on a 35 degree tile compared to over here, well even up in here, right? Tile is 60 degrees. And ambient, 60 degrees. So, yeah. So the last two and a half to three feet is uh, not insulated and cold because the insulation ends at the under underhung wall if that makes sense okay I'm just coming down the stairs and I noticed a little over here as well 26 to 25 wow floor out here is 60. Well, I can feel it on my hand. I can feel, I can feel cold air coming up this wall. Fifty-five. That's not bad. But that's because the air, cold air, coming up from something wrong down here. I don't know what's wrong, but yeah, I mean, from 50 degrees. 26 back to 48 so right along in here is something something's wrong and you can see it's let me move these shoes first yeah something's wrong in here on both sides I think and yeah, this is fine but yeah and then this side too interesting I thought I just show you a wall it's super cold outside makes it easy to see so here's the uh, back door 
garage door, I should say. So up on the door itself is 60, almost 60. And the floor out here is 60, but right at the hearth, here 28 degrees yeah it's cold that's not that is I don't get it go away a little bit and it goes up quick that's not bad Ooh, it's cold Interesting. 